we're going to take a look at our compound logic program. We've taken the guessing game and we've built upon it. I made a couple changes from the last one and then I started adding new statements. I just added initializing the number to guess to a random number in the first step instead of having them as two separate steps. Guess, we're still getting an integer from our user. We asked them to enter an integer between 0 and 100. Now we're going to use the compound logic of OR. We're going to check to see if either the guess is less than 0 or guess is greater than 100. In either of those cases, they'd be out of range. So we'll tell the user that the number is outside of the acceptable range and we'll give them a chance to enter the number again. Let's go ahead and just test that part. So I'm going to put in 777. It'll tell you that it's outside of the acceptable range and you can enter another number and it'll work just fine. It would work the same way if I put in a negative number. And you can see it's working perfectly. The next step is a nested if statement. We've nested multiple if statements inside of each other. The first step is going to check if the number to guess is equal to, you have two equal signs, guess. Then you're going to have the child say, great job, you passed, you guessed the correct number. More likely, it's going to be too high or too low. So this is where we get into our nested statement. So if that's not true, we're going to have an if both the number to guess is less than guess and guess minus the number to guess is less than 11 is true, then we're going to have the child say, ha ha, it's hot, you are too high. So having both of these be true means that it's going to be too high, but it will be less than 10 um, points away. Else, if both the number to guess is less than guess and guess minus the number to guess is greater than 10, notice I'm using greater than and less than, but the numbers are different, otherwise I could use greater than or equal to on one of them. The child will say, too bad, cold, you're too high. So the logic is that if they're within 10 of the, guess, of the correct number, it will be considered hot. Anything more than 10 will be considered cold. Else, if both if the number to guess is greater than guess and number to guess minus guess, notice I changed the order because I don't want to work with negative numbers, is less than 11, it will say, hot, but you are too low. Otherwise, this is the only option left, it's cold and too low. So when we run it, if we put in something in the proper range, it will tell us it's cold and it was the real number was 84. And let's try it again to see if we can get one that's hot. Too low from 33. Twenty four, forty nine, yep, it's cold. Unfortunately, I've got no way to make this work because it's just random completely each time, so I can't really be sure of guessing. Ah, hot, too high, seventy nine, so it's close. So it's working. So that shows you both compound logic for or and the compound logic for and including using nested ifs.